My name is Chang Yoo, and I am the second presenter of group number 10. I believe your smart intelligence and listening skills. So I believe you understand Jian's explanation about basic and background about our articles. From now on, I'm going to show the structure of green single quantum LEDs. From Sapphire 0001 orientation, we call that C phase of two inch diameter used softly of these devices. And after that, gallium nitride buffer layer is grown at a low temperature, maybe it's about 550 Celsius. As you can see, these devices, there are many layers. Each layer has function of helping transportation of carriers and enhancing quantum efficiencies. But the most important part in these devices is this active region. Active region forms single quantum structure consisting of indium gallium nitride 20 ohm strong layer and sandwiched by anti-indium gallium nitride and p-type aluminum gallium nitride. From each electrode, injected carriers moved into well layer. And by electric or coulomb forces, they create excitons, and we call this phenomenon recombination. If a recombination happens, light is being emitted from this well layer. And another thing about this gallium nitride buffer layer, it has function of reducing interface track between gallium nitride and sapphire substrate. Now you are watching EL intensity as a function of a wavelength. It is divided into three different colors. If indium mole fraction increases, the energy gap is getting smaller. It causes the reduction of wavelengths. What does that mean? That means you can change LED's color through changing indium mole fractions while making devices. And here's the second thing. In, this, in the experimental peak wavelength of green LED is about 525 nanometers, but for references, for under no stress condition, peak wavelength of green is about 490 nanometers. It's a little bit longer. It's because of this band gap narrowing. We can explain this band gap narrowing into two different reasons. The first one is different thermal expansion coefficient, and the second one is large lattice mismatch. Now you are watching the full width with half maximum of EL spectra as a function of peak wavelength. If peak wavelength increases, the value of the full width with half maximum also increases. Here is the mechanism of this. If you increase indium mole fraction, it causes reducing of energy. So on, it increases differences between well layer and barrier layer. So it is caused by the mismatch of the lattice and the thermal expansion coefficients between well and barrier layers. Here is the output power is a function of a forward current. Our team wrote it down, each output power and external quantum efficiencies here. But here is two, two important things you have to remember. The first one is saturation. Above 60 milliampere, the output power almost saturated, but probably due to the generation of heat. The second thing you have to remember is comparison between blue single quantum LEDs and green and yellow. This blue single quantum LEDs has much higher output power rather than green and yellow. This reason can be explained by these two reasons. First one is differences between the well and the wall's thermal expansion coefficient. And the second one is indium gallium nitride has large lattice mismatch. This is the last figure of our presentations. It's about output power as a function of a peak wavelength. If you increase peak wavelength, the output power decreases. It's due to the large strain between well and barrier layers. Now let's compare it with newly developed diode indium gallium nitride single quantum LEDs and the conventional ones, gallium phosphide and aluminum indium gallium phosphide. As you can see the output power, the indium gallium nitride single quantum LED has much higher output power rather than this two one. So you can see more bright color. And you can, as you can see the peak wavelength 
We pointed out 525 nanometers. That 525 nanometers represents the pure green color of peak wavelengths. But 555 and 570 is not purely green. It's like yellowish green. So in its final analysis, if you want to see more bright and more green LEDs, why don't you use lithium iron nitride solar quantum LEDs? This is the conclusion of our presentations. The first one is high brightness indium iron nitride single quantum LEDs were grown by metallurgical chemical vapor deposition on sapphire substrate. Through this MOCVD, we can make single quantum well structure. And number two and number three is just experimental data and comparison of this diode and this diode. And number four, it's about fabrication. Fabrication of practical visible LEDs in the range from blue to yellow is possible using three to five nitride materials. That means we can change LED's color through changing indium-O fractions. So you can see blue to yellow color. This is our references. And this is the end of our presentations. If you have any questions, our team will answer to you as much as we know.